In the hazy, nostalgic corridors of our memory, there's often a place reserved for those electrifying firsts. A first crush, a first adventure, a first taste of pure, unadulterated excitement. And then, there's that very first encounter with the A-Team, the year 1983 etched in its pixelated brilliance. Remember the rush, the palpable thrill of witnessing the improbable escapades of four renegade souls who danced on the fine line between the law's embrace. And it's cold, unyielding grip. Picture this, a motley crew, each member a symphony of quirks and skills, impossible to forget once you've invited them into your living room. The cigar-chomping Hannibal Smith with a plan for every occasion, the mohawked marvel that was Mr. T is Bob. Baracus faces charismatic charm that could sell ice to an Eskimo, and the meticulous madness of howling Mad Murdoch. Together, they ignited our screens with explosive action, impeccable banter, and that unmistakable camaraderie that binds souls in the face of adversity. Did your heart race as they masterfully evaded impossible odds? Did you chuckle at the predictably unpredictable tank rides or marvel at the shockingly sound logic of applying science to makeshift weapons? Maybe it was the theme music that echoed in your mind long after the credits rolled. Or perhaps it was the indomitable spirit of the team that sparked a fire in your own heart, daring you to dream a little wilder. As we traverse the terrain of nostalgia, let's unveil some captivating truths about this iconic show. Did you know that George Peppard, the suave Hannibal Smith, actually despised smoking and would chew on unlit cigars? And what about the fact that the show's signature black van faced its fair share of peril on set, narrowly escaping theft on several occasions? These anecdotes, like hidden treasures, add layers to our perception of the show that defined an era. So, my fellow seekers of forgotten tales, let's journey together into the treasure trove of the A-Team. Unearth the trivia, relive the adrenaline, and let's celebrate the indelible market left on our hearts and screens. For every explosion, every quip, and every hair-raising stunt, let us tip our hats to the timeless brilliance of the A-Team. And as we dive into the fascinating depths of trivia, remember, the past holds secrets that only the curious can decipher. Yes, can decipher. The Team, a 1983 TV series, revolves around a group of four ex-military operatives who are wrongly convicted of a crime they didn't commit. Fleeing from the law, they become modern-day Robin Hoods, helping those in need while evading the military police. The show's origin stems from Stephen J. Cannell's desire to blend action and humor, drawing inspiration from the Dirty Dozen. The iconic characters include Colonel John Hannibal Smith, the team's leader known for his cigar and catchphrase, I love it when a plan comes together. Lieutenant Templeton Faceman Peck, the suave conman Captain H.M., Howling Mad Murdoch, the eccentric pilot, and Sergeant Baal. Bad Attitude Baracus, the tough mechanic with a fear of flying. The show's unique style is a blend of action-packed sequences, clever schemes, and camaraderie among the characters. It's characterized by over-the-top stunts, explosive confrontations, and a touch of humor, creating a formula that keeps viewers engaged. The team left an enduring impact on popular culture. The characters' distinct personalities, their signature black van with a red stripe, and memorable quotes like, I pity the fool became cultural touchstones. The show's popularity led to spin-offs, comics, video games, and a 2010 film adaptation. Random facts about the show, George Peppard initially turned down the role of Hannibal but later accepted it. The show faced criticism for its unrealistic action scenes, but remained beloved for its charm. Mr. T.S. fear of flying in real life was incorporated into Baal. Baracus character. The show often featured intricate plans that conveniently came together at the last moment. The black van used in the show was customized with various gadgets and armor. The team stands as a testament to the 1980s fascination with action-packed TV and its ability to create enduring pop culture icons. In the 1983 TV series The A-Team, one enigma shrouded in mystery is the first name of Howling Mad Murdoch, the eccentric pilot portrayed by Dwight Schultz. Throughout the series, Murdoch's real first name is never definitively revealed. Interestingly, Dwight Schultz himself claimed that Howling Mad is, in fact, Murdoch's genuine first name and not merely a colorful nickname. However, keen-eyed viewers might have caught a subtle twist in certain episodes, including the pilot. He is addressed as Jim. This perplexing naming ambiguity adds an extra layer of intrigue to Murdoch's already eccentric persona. Another captivating tidbit related to the show's characters emerges with the revelation 
that Marla Heasley's character, Tanya Baker, was named after the daughter of none other than Stephen J. Cannell, the mastermind behind the A-Team. The show's creator paying homage to his own family by bestowing a character with his daughter's name showcases the personal touches interwoven within the show's fabric, adding a touch of warmth to the action-packed narrative. Shifting focus to the pilot episode, a casting choice that could have reshaped the series' trajectory stands out. Tim Dunigan initially portrayed Face in the pilot episode, the A-Team, Mexican Sleigh Ride. However, the role was subsequently recast with Dirk Benedict stepping into the shoes of the suave conman. Dunigan's portrayal was deemed too young and too tall, prompting this pivotal change. His fascinating insight into the show's conceptualization reveals an alternate timeline. The original intention was to form the A-Team with Vietnam veterans, aligning with the era's context. However, due to the shifting sands of time, the Vietnam War concluded during Dunigan's high school years, leading to an intriguing departure from the original vision. In the vibrant tapestry of the A-Team, these nuances and choices underscore the intricate dynamics that can shape a beloved television series. Each hidden detail contributes to the enduring appeal of the show, allowing fans to unravel new layers of the narrative with each viewing. Murdoch's enigmatic brilliance, unraveling the A-Team's quirkiest mind in the pantheon of classic 1980s television. Few shows have left as indelible a mark as the A-Team. Among its motley crew of ex-military misfits, the enigmatic H.M. Murdoch, portrayed by Dwight Schultz, emerges as a standout character with an uncanny blend of insanity and genius-level aptitude. Murdoch's kaleidoscopic genius is a testament to his vast knowledge spanning various subjects, a penchant for keeping abreast of current events, and an astonishing command of multiple languages including Chinese, German, Japanese, Spanish, Vietnamese, and basic Russian. Such linguistic prowess elevates him beyond the conventional crazy character trope allowing him to communicate across boundaries with an almost eerie finesse. Moreover, hidden beneath Murdoch's facade of instability lies a photographic memory and a Morse code proficiency that defies casual understanding. Season 1 even dares to question whether his apparent madness is a facade, teasing a depth to his character that transcends surface-level perception. This complexity not only enriches the show's narrative, but also challenges viewers to rethink the notion of sanity itself. Murdoch's role, however, isn't without its controversies. His dichotomous nature reflects the real-world tensions that sometimes arose behind the scenes. In contrast to the harmonious camaraderie showcased on screen, tensions brewed between the actors and producers, notably leading to the departure of Melinda Kilia, who portrayed Amy Amanda Allen. Kilia's exit stemmed from creative differences, particularly her desire for more lines and involvement in fight sequences. Her departure, while casting a shadow on the set, underlines the intricate dynamics of crafting a hit show and the challenges of aligning individual aspirations with a cohesive vision. Amid the intricate web of characters, perhaps none is as richly adorned with decorations as John Hannibal Smith, portrayed by George Peppard. Hannibal's uniform is adorned with the Medal of Honor, Army Distinguished Service Medal, Silver Star, Legion of Merit, Purple Heart, and a tapestry of campaign medals. This attention to detail highlights the character's distinguished service and valor, mirroring the broader ethos of the A-Team and celebrating heroism and loyalty. In hindsight, the A-Team isn't just a show, it's a cultural touchstone that distills the essence of the 1980s, complete with its charismatic oddities and behind-the-scenes complexities. Amid the whirlwind of memorable characters, Murdoch's singular blend of madness and brilliance continues to captivate, leaving us to ponder the fine line between genius and insanity. <laughs> James Coburn, acclaimed for his silver screen prowess, was nearly at the helm of 1,983 seconds TV hit the team. As casting deliberations unfolded, Coburn's name shimmered as a contender for the iconic role of Lieutenant Colonel John Hannibal Smith. The rugged gravitas he exuded in his cinematic roles aligned enticingly with the audacious persona of the cigar-toting a team leader. Yet, fate's plot twist led George Peppard to don the mantle, crafting a memorable portrayal that etched into pop culture lore. A weighty revelation emerged from the flamboyant Mr. T, who infused the character of Ba, Barakas with a veritable gold mine. The man known for his gold chain neck and no-nonsense attitude carried a load beyond mere bravado. 
Strutting his style, Mr. T bore the weight of 35 minus 40 pounds of gold, true to his character's ostentatious demeanor. Beyond the glint and gleam, this gilded choice mirrored the character's tough exterior, concealing a heart of gold. In a symphony of reality and performance, three ensemble members bridged the military divide. George Peppard, the mastermind behind Hannibal, had marched in the Marines before treading the boards. Eddie Velez, a forceful presence as Frankie Santana, had served in the Air Force, channeling his real-life discipline into his on-screen charisma. Not to be outdone, Mr. T, the Mohawk Bob, had played the role of an Army MP before making his acting debut. This triumvirate of genuine military experience lent an authentic cadence to their fictional exploits. The team, an action-packed classic that continues to echo through the decades, thrived not only on its scripted vigor but on these hidden threads of authenticity. Behind the stunts and gunfire lay the resonance of lived experiences, woven by these actors who had truly walked the walk. The collision of fiction and reality birthed a series that, much like its members, was greater than the sum of its parts. And so, the tale of the A-Team unfolds, where casting twists, golden burdens, and military echoes converge in a mosaic of 80 seconds television that continues to captivate. In the shadow of its endearing entertainment, these lesser-known facets reveal a layered narrative that endures, etching its mark on the annals of television history. As we wrap up our journey through the iconic 1983 TV series, The Team, I invite you to take a moment and let the echoes of nostalgia reverberate within you. This show, with its blend of action-packed missions, camaraderie, and larger-than-life characters, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of pop culture. As the curtain falls on the adventures of Hannibal, Face, Ba, and Murdoch, it's only natural to find yourself reminiscing about the times when you eagerly joined them in their escapades, rooting for their inventive solutions and applauding their triumphs against all odds. Maybe you found inspiration in Hannibal's strategic genius, or perhaps Face's suave charm and resourcefulness resonated with you. But, S tough exterior might have hidden a nugget of relatability, or you might have admired Murdoch's unrestrained spirit and unpredictability. But beyond the explosions and the iconic black van, the A-Team was more than just a series, it was a connection. It sparked conversations, brought families together, and allowed friends to bond over their shared excitement. Now, as we stand at this juncture, I encourage you to delve into your memory vault and retrieve those treasured moments you spent with the A-Team. What was your favorite episode? Which catchphrase still brings a smile to your face? Did you ever try to replicate one of their daring plans? Whether it's a burst of laughter, a rush of adrenaline, or a quiet contemplation, those moments are yours to cherish. So, as the final credits roll, I extend my gratitude to you for taking this stroll down memory lane with me. Your time and interest in reliving the glory days of the team are truly appreciated. Now, it's over to you. Share your thoughts, memories, and reflections about the series. Let's keep the spirit of the A-Team alive, not just in the annals of television history, but in the hearts of those who were touched by its magic. Until we embark on our next adventure, keep those memories alive. Thank you for your time and enthusiasm. Stay nostalgic, stay connected, and stay A-Team awesome. A-Team awesome.